Hi guys, thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by Tech Fortress. We'll be talking about how to install and use Fake App version 2.2. Let's check out the requirements for running this app. First, CUDA enabled NVIDIA graphic card. Second, any modern CPU. Third, 8GB RAM. And fourth, and most importantly, the operating system should be Windows 10. Coming back to topic, here is how to download Fake App version 2.2. First, Go to fakeapp.org for direct download or since it is slower now due to high number of downloads, I created a torrent file for your convenience with all the required files in one place. You can find the link for the torrent in the description below. I will forward this video till the download's done. Now that all the files required are downloaded, let's continue with the installation. To run fakeapp version 2.2, the following softwares are required. First, CUDA 9.0.176 and its patch. Second, Microsoft Visual Studio 2015. Let's install them. First software we'll be installing is CUDA 9.0.176. Since the installation takes a long time, I'll be skipping the loading part. If you already have NVIDIA drivers installed on your computer, then you can go and select the custom advanced options and click next. And deselect the driver components from the list of the components to be installed and click next. Let me forward this video until the installation is done. Now that the first installation is done, let's install the patch for CUDA 9. The final software to be installed is Visual Studio 2015. Make no mistake as no other version of Visual Studio will work for this app. And also, if you have downloaded the latest version of Visual Studio, then you need to delete it and reinstall the 2015 version only. Now that all the required softwares are installed, let's open the fake app setup. Once the application is loaded, it will show you an announcement. To get around this, you need to close the application. Then copy the code.zip file available in the downloaded torrent folder to the following address. Now go to C drive, then users, then computer username like Mumsy, then app data, then local, then fake app, then app 2.2.0, resources, then API, and paste the file. I will be adding this address in the description below for your convenience. Now that the code.zip file is copied, let's extract its contents by hitting on the extract all option. Make sure that you extract its contents in the API folder and not the core folder. Let me forward this video until the extraction is completed. Now that the extraction is completed, let us close the already open fake app window and open the application using the shortcut from the desktop. If you have properly followed the instructions and successfully installed the software, then the announcement will not pop up again. Now that you have successfully installed fake app 2.2, let us learn how to use it. For the sake of the video, let us take the actors Toby Maguire, the old Spider-Man and Tom Holland from the Spider-Man Homecoming. For this app to work properly, you need to have proper facial sets of both the actors with different expressions, lighting, brightness or illuminations. Let us now extract faces from videos. This version of app automates the extraction of frames from the video and also crops out the faces in one go. In the Get Dataset tab of the fake app, you need to paste the location of the video in the address field and enter the number of frames per second to be taken out from the video. I will be using 3 frames per second so that I can catch all the facial expressions. And click on Extract. This starts the process. As you can see, the frames are being split. Now, the frames are being aligned which is nothing but the faces are being cropped out from the video. Similarly, repeat the same process for all the available videos and extract the faces. 
Now from among the cropped faces, we select the images with better clarity, no specs, no objects such as mic in front of the face. Copy them in the separate folder. Note that this folder will act as the final training data. Now that we have the training data for Toby Maguire, let us repeat the same process for Tom Holland. Now that we saw how to extract facial datasets from the videos, let us see how to extract facial datasets from images. Fake app can only extract images from PNG formats, so we have to first convert the images to PNG. I will be using Lightning Image Resizer to convert them. Follow the video to use Lightning Image Resizer. Select the source folder containing the JPEG images and select PNG in the output file format and finally select the destination folder to store the converted images. Now copy the address of these converted images and select the images option in the fake app and paste the address in the image directory field and click on the extract to start the extraction. Now that we got the required facial image sets of Toby Maguire and Tom Holland, let us use fake app to create model folder. Let's say I want Toby to appear in Spider-Man Homecoming. For that to happen, I have to create an empty folder named model and place this address in model field. I will place Tom Holland's facial data in data A and finally Toby's facial data goes to data B. I'll be making a separate video to explain about the new settings option. Click on trains option. This will commence the training process. If everything went as expected, after a while you will be able to see the training preview window. Leave the training process for approximately 8 hours or till you get a loss value less than 0.02. I will be back once I get a sufficiently trained model. Kindly consider donating at the fakeapp.org to promote the maker of the app. After training for 5 hours, now you can see both the expressions and angles of the actors matching and got loss value of 0.02. For the sake of the video, I'll be stopping the training process. You can stop the training process by closing fake app. Let us create the final video. We need to copy the location of the model folder to the model field and then the location of the video to the video field. I'll be using a short clip from the latest Spider-Man Homecoming movie. I will be using an FPS of 30 for this video. Finally click create for starting the process. I will skip the video till the process is completed. Now that the process is completed, let's check the final video. As you can see, Tom Holland's face is switched with Toby in this clip. The resemblance is minimal due to the fact that we have trained for only 5 hours. To get better results, train for more hours. Now that you guys have created your first fake video, let us see how you can replace Toby's face with Tom Holland using the same model. For this example, I'll be using a clip from the first Spider-Man movie. Copy the location of the model folder location to the model field and video clips location to the video field 
and FPS as 30 and the only change from the previous process is you need to go to settings, select the direction as B to A, close the setting, finally click create for starting the process. I will skip the video till the process is completed. Now that the process is completed, let's check the video. I'll care and have a nice day.